Hi, my name's Brad. I'm an applications engineer with Keithley Instruments and Tektronix. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can capture complex current waveforms with our new DMM 6500 6.5-digit graphical sampling multimeter. Here you can see our experimental setup. We have a low-energy Bluetooth device in series with a battery and our DMM 6500. We're going to make that Bluetooth device beep. Activating that small speaker will cause a relatively large current draw, which we'll record with the DMM's digitizing current function. Finally, I'll show you how to save your instrument settings so you can easily repeat any measurement like this. A Keithley DMM 6500 is a great low-cost solution for this measurement. It features a 1 mega sample per second 16-bit digitizer with a minimum resolution of 100 picoamps. If you need more accuracy, though, you can always operate in a high accuracy mode at a small speed sacrifice. It also features 7 megabytes of internal memory, which would be 7 seconds of digitizing at 1 mega sample per second. Of course, your measurements may demand tighter specs than our low-cost offering, in which case I'd recommend our DMM 7510. It functions similarly, but along with what you see on screen, contains a more powerful processor, making for a more fluid experience while interacting with your data. I don't want to throw data sheets at you right now, so I'll invite you to visit tech.com slash DMM to find the one best suited for your application. Now, let's get on to the measurement. So, here we have our DMM 6500, and I've just turned it on so it's in its factory default state. It's in an experimental setup like I described earlier, and you can see our little green Bluetooth device up in the corner there. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look at the screen. We're going to start by selecting our digitize current function, and then we'll swipe one screen to the right and click setup trigger because we want to capture this automatically. We'll select waveform as our source event and analog edge. We're going to capture the rising edge. We'll set the level to 75 milliamps. It's going to be about that. And then we're going to move the trigger position because I want to capture a little bit more of this waveform than the 50% will allow. Next, we have to initiate the trigger model and then we'll make our device beep. Hopefully that was enough to trip our trigger, so we'll go over to the graph tab, and there we can see our whole beep. We can zoom in with our fingers here and look at all the individual features, that's real helpful for troubleshooting, but let me zoom back out with this key right here, that's auto scale, and I'm going to add some vertical cursors because I want to determine the average current of this entire waveform, which I can do right here. So I'll position those, swipe over, and this vertical cursor stats page gives me just about all the info I need with max and min currents, an average current, and peak to peak. But let's say you need to repeat this measurement a lot, or maybe you just really like all your trigger settings. Luckily, the DMM 6500 gives you an option to save all of these settings to call them back anytime you want. We'll just press the menu button and go over to Save Setup. You can save different setups with any name you like, the default's fine for me, and you can recall all these settings just by running them like any other script, which means that you can also move saved setups between different units. You can either choose to run it right now with Run Selected, or you can copy to power up so that the settings will be loaded as soon as the instrument turns on. Well, I hope this short video has taught you something helpful. Remember, you can always visit tech.com slash Keithley for more information. Thanks for watching.